You're listening to the Astromommy Daily Horoscope, a forecast that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. Whether you're a first-time listener or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in the Astromommy community. Without further ado, here is the Daily Horoscope. Mercury in Libra, Moon opposes Pluto, and the Four of Wands reversed, deciding what to say. Daily Horoscope check-in for Thursday, September 26, 2024. Good morning, friends. Well, the title says it all, deciding what to say. I have had a morning that has just had a bunch of curveballs, and now I am literally deciding what to say for the horoscope, and it is actually not morning anymore. It is the afternoon. This is just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, right? You have a plan, you want to execute that plan, and then life just gets in the way and things, other things happen. So that's where we're at today, folks. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to be doing this horoscope again off the cuff like I did last week, I believe, and we're just going to go with it. Better done than perfect, right? Okay, let's get into the astrology. All times are in Eastern time unless mentioned otherwise. Right after midnight at 12.13 a.m., Mercury in Virgo perfected his trine to Pluto in Capricorn retrograde. Lots of deep conversations could have come up about deep topics, painful topics, psychological issues, or anything that had to do with something being unearthed that was a little bit painful to talk about. Then at 3.36 a.m., the moon in Cancer made a square to Chiron in Aries retrograde. And this could have been an opportunity for healing. Hurt feelings could have been, you know, circulating. People could have been dealing with emotional issues coming up or sadness that they were feeling about something. And this is a time for healing and, you know, inner wisdom to take place. Then early in the morning at 4.08 a.m., Mercury left the analytical, practical, and organizational sign of Virgo and entered Libra. Mercury in Libra is diplomatic. It has a social flair, and it's definitely a position of pursuing artistic projects, such as singing, music, dancing. People who have Mercury in Libra often have a an artistic flair. There are many actors and actresses, singers, songwriters, and diplomats who have Mercury in Libra in their natal chart. So Mercury in Libra for us in mundane astrology and how we're going to be working with it ourselves, unless we have it in our natal chart, is going to show us over the next few weeks while Mercury is transiting through this sign, a more diplomatic side of our nature of how we think, how we operate, and how we communicate to others. We are going to be doing a lot more listening while Mercury is in Libra rather than talking. And this is because Mercury in Libra likes to listen to what others have to say and figure out where the best place in the whole scheme of things the other person fits. So Mercury in Libra makes great interviewers, makes great diplomats and mediators. So we're going to be doing those same kinds of things in our own lives. Mercury coming into Libra, whatever house Libra rules in your life, will accentuate those diplomatic types of conversations where you are listening to those people in your life and trying to do the right thing. You want to create harmony and balance with the words that you say. And so you want to listen and take note of where the person's at and what kind of words they need to hear back from you, if any. Sometimes people just need somebody to listen to them. And that is a great Mercury and Libra trait. This afternoon, the moon in Cancer will perfect a sextile to Uranus and Taurus retrograde at 1.02 p.m. And this represents an opportunity for something fun to happen in our life today. There's some sort of spontaneous thing that could happen and you feel good about this. You feel free to explore those possibilities and it's a great time to be open to those new ideas and aha moments that you may have with the Uranian energy. Later this afternoon at 3.37 p.m., the moon in Cancer will perfect a trine to Neptune in Pisces retrograde. And this could be a beautiful time this afternoon, showing harmony and pleasure, a time of music and joy and laughter and agreeable energies. Moving on to tonight at 6.05 p.m., 
the moon in Cancer will make a sesca quadrate to Saturn in Pisces retrograde, indicating that we need to have some patience with ourselves. Something is happening, something that we've already started that we need to put some serious effort and time into is taking place. But we have some things that we need to tweak, some things that we need to do to make it better before it can actually come to fruition. So take that time to do the tasks that you need to do. Spend the mental energy thinking about that thing, whatever it is, so that you can make it right. When it's ready, it'll be ready to manifest in your life. Then at 6, 12 p.m., the moon in Cancer opposes Pluto in Capricorn retrograde. And this is definitely when we are coming up against some truthful feelings, some hard things about our survival. Pluto and Capricorn brings up questions about survival with our resources that we have. And the moon in Cancer brings up questions of how we feel comfortable. Do we feel safe and secure? And the moon opposite Pluto is coming face to face with those feelings. Those feelings coming up from the depths. Whenever we have a hard aspect to Pluto, it represents things coming up from the depths. Things being excavated. Things being pulled out from underneath the soil that we then have to look at and make some decisions about. The opposition was said to be the nature of Saturn, and so it requires of us an either-or situation. It, re it represents a tug-of-war type of energy where we are being pulled towards one extreme or the other. We need to come to a place of decision. We need to make a decision to do something or feel a certain way or not feel a certain way or not do something or say something or not say something with Mercury and Libra. This could be coming up. So with the moon opposite Pluto this evening, there definitely could be some tension. There definitely could be some challenges that come up. And we need to sit with those feelings and come from a place of integrity and honesty and authenticity in however we decide to react to the situation. Then at 6.47 p.m., the moon will leave the watery sign of Cancer and enter into the fiery sign of Leo. Moon in Leo is a much different energy. It's definitely an extroverted energy, and it's m more about getting in tune with our childlike, playful natures that like to have fun. So after we have this opposition with Pluto and Capricorn retrograde, where we might be thinking, okay, this is the last moment. These are the last days that I have to make this work. These are, you know, I, I either have to do it or I have to not do it anymore. Then we're going to be coming into this courageous emotional energy where we are inspired and we are ready to go after these things. We've made our decisions that were hard and emotional. Now we are ready to have fun with the idea, have fun with the process and be creative, childlike and enjoy ourselves as we go through the next steps in our journey. Then thankfully tonight at 9.17 p.m., the moon in Leo will form a sextile to Mercury in Libra and this represents ideas flowing freely. There are opportunities to have really wonderful exchanges between people. This is a social energy, a playful energy, a love of music, a love of art, a time of expressing things from the heart, and also listening to others and really showing them that we care about them. So it's a wonderful energy to end the night, especially after the touchy time between the moon and Pluto that could have brought, that could bring up a lot of painful feelings. The tarot card. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? The four of wands reversed. On this card, we see a couple of women dancing in the foreground. And in the background is a tent that is adorned with flags and fire poles. And there's a beautiful sunset in the background. The four of wands in the upright position represents celebration, having a good time with friends, a time of commencement. It's typically a card that can also represent marriage or some sort of rite of passage where you are leaving one chapter of your life and entering another chapter of your life. And it's a celebration moment. It's a time of success, positivity, and joy. And you're feeling a lot of support and from your friends and family and loved ones, and you are all celebrating together. In the reverse position, this can mean that you are having an internal or a private celebration or commencement or rite of passage. It can also represent feeling disconnected from others, such as friends and family in some way, and you're not feeling connected to them to be able to have the celebration or the festivities. And that can, you know, create some sadness. 
This card is from the Lightseer's Tarot. And in the guidebook, she says that in the reverse position, this card can also represent lack of harmony, getting caught up in drama, or forgetting to celebrate the simple things or the little wins in your life. And so I think that that could also be going on. Maybe there is something that just doesn't feel harmonious and you're having to come up against it with that moon opposite Pluto. It's bringing up a feeling of disconnection, a feeling of missing joy and celebration with your friends and family in some way. And so if that is the way that this card is resonating with you, I want to read you what she says in the guidebook that is a really nice affirmative phrase for this card, whether it comes up upright or reversed. And this is what um, the author Chris Ann of this deck says. I am devoted to my connectedness and I celebrate the wonder of loving bliss with my community. And so I want to just put that out there to remind you to celebrate the connections that you do feel and the simple things that you are grateful for and the little wins that you are having in your life. And if you want to share those with others, feel free to share those with others. If you want to just enjoy that on your own, celebrate it with yourself in some way. But this card coming up reversed is reminding us that connection and community and celebrating our accomplishments are really important things to remember to do. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Thank you for listening to The Daily Horoscope. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card was pulled from the Light Sears Tarot, available on Amazon. If you seek knowledge and enlightenment, the Astro Mommy newsletter may be right for you. Side effects of reading or listening to the Astro Mommy newsletter are common and include joy, jubilation, delight, happiness, gratitude, love, triumph, feeling in tune with the universe, experiencing deep insights, reflections, and contemplations, a lightened soul, a lighter step, feeling awake when others are asleep, illuminated, enlightened, having spiritual experiences, noticing repeating numbers, animals and nature, or songs on the radio that speak to you, getting vibes, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsmellience, feeling like you know a secret language, biophilia, crying tears of joy, emotional literacy, feeling lively, stable, exalted, having an auric glow, or feeling like you woke up on the right side of the bed have all been reported. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a very small commission. Thanks for listening.